What is up, everyone? This is Preston with Garden City Pokemon. Just got back from the Sun and Moon pre-release. And, uh, you know, I gotta tell you, it was pretty fantastic. Uh, what I'll be doing here, uh, a couple different things. What I want to do is show all of the pack openings. So, uh, just kind of go through um, at least all of my packs. So, I'll go through and kind of show you that. Uh, now, I did record that uh, actually at the local card shop here where we played. Uh, and I'll cut that scene in here momentarily. Um, in fact, let's uh, start by saying I didn't get to record at the event as much as I wanted to. Uh, just simply because we had some friends there this evening that were uh, kind of new to Pokemon events. It was their first event and I really wanted to make sure they had a good time and it was uh, it was great. It was really enjoyable. Uh, definitely the best pre-release that uh, Cindy and I have been to. So definitely lots of good stuff and uh, like I said I didn't get to film as much as I wanted to but we'll go over some of that fun stuff now. So anyway guys, um, let's start by... I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in right here. Uh, the pack openings from uh, my pack there. Man, I'm all over the place. It is really late here, but I wanted to get this film to get this done. So anyway, my packs right now. Alright. I got a hole. I got a hole. Oh, yeah. on my hand. Are you, are you starting to... Yes, I've decided to, to start doing... I got it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I just swore on my YouTube channel. Did I? And I'm gonna have to edit that out. Who'd I get? Who'd I get? <laughs> no! Oh my god. Sucker! What did you get? You ready, Cindy? <laughs> no! Oh. I literally got the one I wanted. Oh, we both got a ring. Right oh, toss that. You should be a garbage. Oh my gosh. Don't you want to regret it? I don't really care. Either way. No, you can't trade. Yes, you can. No. Let Tony have Shinobi. Okay, fine. And you know what the best part about this is? They were too lazy to change it. It still says 10 even though there's 11. Okay. And we'll open this. Oh, we would love to. Yep. Thank you. I feel like my chair needs to be in the box. Let's see. Curlbats, Zubats, Trainers. Oh, he's so cute. Can you get one more? You can't touch it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. Yes. Isn't it the best? We noticed that with the Japanese one. I need that one in mine. Why do I end up with something? I'm pretty sure I just accidentally gave away a code card on my channel. Well, redeem it before you post it. One, two, four, and two. You can. All right, guys. Are you live? Rolling grammar. No. Okay. Spiro. Grubbin. Maybe I'll just edit it out or give it away. Dark Energy, Courtier, a Lily, Pinky Pack, oh, Hollow Serena. Don't sound so excited. I am. I'm trying to get these open. Okay. I got a cutie flag. Two nice sharpedo. Nice sharpedo hollow. Oh, well. Grimer, Romantis, Cosmog, Ragnola, Sandy Guess, Poison Barb, every time. Come on, there's gotta be something good in here. Spiky turd. Look, spiky turd. I don't feel like learning how to pronounce his name, so for now he's just spiky turd. You can make you. Drowsy, Rowl, at Torkoal, Zubat. What do you get? Golda. 
Anything with EX means it's good. Oh. <laughs> or DX. EX, EX. You guys are never coming to an event with this again. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> Growl, a Sirskit, Commander. Okay, I have one more pack. I better get one. Hey, a Rotom Dex. Oh, for reals? Did you not get anything? No. I feel like. Uh -oh. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and we'll get to that one in a second. So on is my wife, so one's mine. Um, so I guess what I'll do for you here. Oh, and by the way, shout out to my wife, who if I just rotate this a little bit, uh, our local car shop uh, gave these away and she was one of the winners. So now we have for our videos this beautiful Pokemon Sun and Moon backdrop. Anyway, let's rotate back down here. Okay, so let's go through. Get this out of the way. Uh, so what I also wanted to do is I wanted to go through each of our decks that we used. Um, so let me just pull out... Man, she has this packed tight. One second, guys. I'm sorry. My wife packed this super tight full of stuff. Um, anyway, and we're saving code cards, so I'm trying not to flash them. Uh, because, sorry, one sec, guys. I'm just trying to get code cards out of the way. We want to use them in future videos, so we're not going to give any away. So what I'll do for you here real quick, uh, since you got to see some of my polls... Um, I'll just kind of quickly go through for you guys and just kind of show off some things that my wife pulled. Something to keep in mind is that these also include uh, her three packs of prize cards at the end. So this isn't just what was in her pre-release kit. Um, this was also uh, the three packs as well. I'll just kind of go through some of this. Uh, so neither of us in our first pre-release kits pulled any GX's we got oh some terrible terrible pulls now I guess I will say this though uh, there was a kid in our pre-release I kid you not out of all this packs that he opened a uh, hyper rare Espeon a full art Umbreon a regular Umbreon GX and a Lunatris GX I think it was so that kid had some crazy pulls anyway so because terrible pulls were my, the direction my wife went was uh, for her deck um, a lot of it was uh, just kind of based on that foundation pack the evolution pack is what they uh, officially call it. if you look here back on the box the uh, 23 card evolution pack including the one so that's um, a lot of what you're seeing here is uh, is all based off of that so unfortunately didn't have a ton of great pulls so her deck is pretty straightforward that she used there um, now I, I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna have to say my pulls are pretty terrible too I think I mentioned that but um, <laughs> I, with my deck, changed it a little bit, but it's it's still very similar in regard to um, being pretty heavily based off of the foundation deck. So we'll throw that guy up there. Um, what is in here? Okay, sorry guys, let me take out code cards. And I'm just trying to sort all my cards because they're in a couple different places. Bear with me here, guys. There's my deck. And then the cards that I pull. And again, just trying to make sure code cards aren't in there. Love to give you guys code cards, but I am trying to save them for a future video. Tell you what. Let's give some code cards away. Actually, I'll give you just a couple. 
So let's give away a code card. Woo! I'm using some new filming stuff, guys. So I want to see how well it does. Believe it or not, I am recording this right off of my iPhone 7 Plus. So let me know what you guys think about video quality compared to some of our previous videos. I'm really, really curious to see uh, what that looks like. So, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Uh, what I'll go ahead and do now, uh, let me also state that in this stack of cards I'm about to show you, um, I did purchase another extra pre-release kit, and we'll go over that in a minute. Um, so some of the cards in here are from the packs that were included, or not the packs, uh, the little 22 card evolution, 23 card evolution pack. So um, some of this is all mixed in, but uh, just trying to give you guys an idea of some of the stuff that Cindy and I pulled uh, from all our various packs. I, and seriously guys, oh, this reverse hollow. Oh, love it. Love it. Ugh. Kind of bummed that a hollow was wasted on Mr. Doug Trio or Mrs. Doug Trio. Whatever you want to call it. One of our friends that came with us tonight to pre-release does incredible crochet work and I think if she could just have 40 of these in her deck she probably would have just played 40 polywag. Now well, let's see. Reverse hollow pile of sand, pile of sand, reverse hollow pile of sand, some litten, some torcoals, cosmog. Oh, whoops, my bad. Well, whatever. You guys can take the code card. Whoops. Didn't mean to give that away. Oh, well. Um, Cosmog. So, as I said, initially, I did not pull any GXs, but one of the bonus packs that my card shop gave me when I bought that extra pre-release, uh, they were gracious enough. Oh, this is a little Serena Hollow there. Crocodile. Uh, in those packs, I was able to pull Incineroar, Incineroar GX. I chose Litten in Pokemon Sun, so it was really great to get the Incineroar GX card. Um, I was super, super stoked about that. So let's go ahead and put these away. And then I'll show you my deck. And then, guys, uh, to make sure that you make it here with me to the end of this video, I've got a couple of Sun and Moon packs we're going to get to open as well. So, my deck was based heavily around um, water and electric type. My goal being, there's my promo that I pulled initially. My goal really was this Aqua Spark. That was really the best damage I could get for the least amount of energy. Um... It just happened that that's what I ended up playing. Oh, I did score this Reverse Hollow Poison Barb, which I think Poison Barb is pretty cool. I mean, you know, get your opponent poisoned, why not? Spiky Turd, I did use Spiky Turd. And Spiky Turd is great because uh, for pre-release with uh, quite a few Pokemon I played with lower HP, I had a lot of uh, people I faced that... Uh, it's a great stalling card. A lot of people were hesitant to attack because they really didn't want to knock it out and have to face the wrath of those six damage counters on the ability. Also, what I'm curious of, guys, is switching the recording directly from my iPhone allows me to get that in really clear, the card text. So let me know Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm really curious. Uh, anyway, so some big Malasada, some trainers, Rotom Pokedex came in handy a time or two, all your energy, so, eh, pretty straightforward, oh, I, just that reverse hollow pattern, is it picking it up, can you see it, yeah, okay, anyway guys, cool stuff, I dig it, and of course, if you watch a previous video, my evil team Pikachu sleeves, I said, you know, these are brand new sleeves, what am I going to break, what am I going to break them in with? How about pre-release? Okay, so um, I don't know what happened, but the side of the box caught something and it ripped. So this was not Pokemon. It was not shipped this way. This was all me, guys. Um, <coughs> oh man, I am so sorry about the cuffs. Uh, this one came with Bruxish, and then 
I mean, just the standard stuff that came with the promos. Now the fun part, we get to open up a couple more packs of good old Sun and Moon. Oh, and I did buy a theme deck for my son. So you guys, hopefully your card shops and local Pokemon carriers do have Sun and Moon uh, theme decks out. I'm hoping that's a trend we get to continue seeing with getting the theme decks beforehand. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, obviously it's a theme deck, but great way to start. Um, anyway, so it looks like we did get a Lunala and the three final evolutions of the starters. So because Pre Arena is my least favorite, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna save Incineroar for last. All right, let's do this. And for whatever reason, I also appreciate the iPhone camera's response time as far as, um, uh oh, I might have actually revealed something. As far as focusing, so, okay, four and two. We've got a Litten, Cosmog, Rock and Rolla, Growlithe, Meowth, Metal, Energy, Golbat, Drumbeak, Ooh, Reverse Hall Lantern. Oh, ho, ho! Tauros G. X. Not that it's necessarily the greatest, most playable card in the world, but man, sure still is pretty. Alright, so sorry Pre Marina for dissing you. Um, because you ended up being incredibly helpful with another GX. So, oh, green card. You guys know what that means. Although, I guess, do we really know? I don't know. Whatever, let's just open. We got a Wingle, Dratini, Lillipup, Bounsweet, Psyduck, Repel, Corsola, Kukui, Palisand, and Golduck. Alright, Pile of Sand. We got Sand Pile. I'm just going to call him Sand Pile. We got Sand Pile. Sorry guys, it's really late. Alrighty. We got to four, and we got two. Whoop, whoop. All right, Dupata, Diglett, Marini, Crabrala, Eevee, Psychic Energy, Potion, Toracat, Poison Barb, Lillipup, and Lantern. So many Lanterns. So if you guys were to take a look at my bulk trade-in pile after tonight, you'll see about 60 Lanterns. That's probably not true. All right, final pack, guys, and then we're gonna say good night for the evening. Incineroar, be with us. Use your darkest lariat to bring us something good. Oh no, guys. Oh no. You know what? I'm so excited about what this is gonna bring us. Hopefully, it's good. I'm gonna give away another code. Oh, code card. Okay, Ooh. are you guys excited or what? Let's find out. We got a Makuhita, Caterpie, Paris, Young Goose, Shelter, Water Energy, Nest Ball, Polar World, Steeny, Reverse Hollow, Serena. Oh, and a Hollow Shinodic. All right. Well, my wife's going to be excited because this is the promo that she wanted and she didn't get, and I felt bad. So, here we go. Merry Christmas, hon. Should know, Dick. Oh, wow. If it turns out, once I finish this video, anywhere what I'm seeing on my screen, where, I, okay, guys, seriously, let me know what you think of the video quality because we're a new channel. This is new to us. We're really trying to figure out the best way to film this for you guys. So let me know. Let me know. Anyway, guys, so got a ton of cool stuff. But at least we did pull another GX, which is great. We finally, guys, it just doesn't seem real. We finally have English Sun and Moon in our hands. So I hope you guys all had a killer time at your pre-releases. And, you know, let us know. Man, like, subscribe, share, and comment down below what you got for your pre-release. We definitely want to know. Good stuff, guys. Anyway, thanks again so much for watching. Like, subscribe and share the crap out of this video.
Thanks.